He was just chill. Like, you got the guts to dress up, man. Come on, at least give me a little quick pelvic thrust. Oh, sitting down, that doesn't look good. It works better when you... Yes, we see you! We see you and acknowledge your presence! They just dance party over there. Seriously, you guys are so, you guys, I think, like, maybe, you're, well, you're, you're even too young to have been born or conceived when this movie was made. <laughs> so it was like, maybe you guys discover this later, and then it was like, oh, date night, let's watch Napoleon Dynamite and like, get Randy. Because <laughs> that's Deb, that's LaFonda, and that's Grandma. <laughs> yeah, they named you Grandma. Oh, and then the fourth one would be Tina. Yeah. <laughs> Tina, you fat I will say, the bizarre thing is that, I mean, we'll talk a lot about the movie and whatever and all the weird lines, but I never would have thought in a hundred years, like, this is already gonna answer some of your questions, but like, when we were making the movie, we really did think like, oh my gosh, these are just awesome lines. We're not gonna change anything. These, this is like, we, we had no idea. Tina, you fat large, just eat the food! <laughs> that was, that is the number one quote. The time machine. No. <laughs> we just keep going back in time and keep remaking it. I think it's just, it's timeless. I, it really is kind of, has that quality in there. Luckily, and at the time, that was the whole point. It wasn't the point to like, let's make a timeless film. Let's make a movie in Preston, Idaho, and if you've been there, it's a time capsule. But it works because like the decor is very 60s and 70s like the, of the house, but then the costumes are kind of 80s and 90s, and the music, are, music is kind of 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So it's a whole mix of a lot of things, because that's kind of how it is in really small towns, and especially in Preston, you know, they're not up to date with all the pop culture and the fashion and the trends. So I think that really helps and, and it makes our characters, you know, much more relatable. And I think everybody, you know, with movies about youth, people can relate to that. And I think, you know, everybody in the film is, the universal truth that is spelled out in Napoleon is that everybody, no matter how cool you think you are, everybody is awkward. Everybody, especially when you're young, the coolest kid in the, the coolest kid in this high school is supposed to be Don, right? Like he's a, <laughs> but he's like his girlfriend's doing this like amazing dance with, you know, like whatever it is. He's like he's making fun of them earlier in the film. I don't know what to say, but no, no, a little slower. How slow is this film? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, well, I don't have much to say, but I hope you vote for me. <laughs> so, nailed it. Uh, and, uh, that was that. And my agent called me up going, all right, congratulations. Look, you both are. Who, uh, who is this guy? <laughs> but okay. I'm me. <laughs> so I thought, maybe I'm in the right. Um, in the right group of actors, you know, and then having to meet um, Kip <laughs> and Uncle Rico, uh, uh, Starla, you know, uh, it's like, I, I'm okay. I, 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 you know, I just hope I can do a lot of service for this, for this role. Um, and then the film turned out the way it, you know, it is now. It brought us here to see you guys and talk to you guys. Yeah, so, 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 so. <laughs> so like, I'm like, I have a Big Mac, and they're like, that makes sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, like, yeah, nobody was sick, but nobody had no idea. They just thought, like, you, are they shooting a documentary here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's start some of the questions here. Remember, folks, don't be shy. We have uh, microphones on either side. So we'll have our first question here. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, wait. Leftover tots? Like, then I was like, sweet, score! I've got leftover... Yeah, they had tons of tots, but... 
By the time we were, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I had some leftover tots. They're so good. It's awkward ordering them at restaurants now because if the people recognize me, they like smile. I'm like, no, I just tots really are good. She was like, um, and what would you like to eat? I'd like to have some tots. <laughs> you want some tots? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Yeah, like Chris and Pedro, you need your tots? Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir. Love you guys. Thanks for coming to Canada. Hey. We're so blessed to have you here today. Uh, I thought it was like a Napoleon and Pedro adventure, you know, like you guys go to Mexico, right? And you go down with him to see your family, right? I mean, it could be like a sequel, it could be a whole adventure. It's your soul. I love the name of Napoleon in Mexico. <laughs> He's like Napoleon and like the, like the head cartel. Okay, tell me, you know my little nephew Pedro. You want to be part of cartel, I say. No. Do you guys get to do like your legal ninja moves from the government? <laughs> That sounds pretty sweet. Are you like, is Pedro like gonna be your secret service, like a captain or something, or your bodyguard? Yes, yes. Radical. <laughs> 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 We're all that in the butts. Yeah. Well, they don't have to get it, they just have to go, sweet moves. So you're like, I guess they are. They just have to go, it's crazy. You're like, good job. <laughs> well, good, I'm glad. One of the original fans, fourth grade. Fourth grade is about, yeah, that's about the age when you can start to really start appreciating it. And, yeah. uh, You're ahead of your time. Yeah. 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 Your friends are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite parts of filming the Um, it's, that's a hard one. I mean, I love shooting everything. Every scene was just really fun to do. I mean, even if it was at the chicken farm drinking egg yolk juice <laughs> or grabbing those chickens, I was like, uh, but. It's when you're doing it, though, you know, I mean, literally, every scene was, we were excited to shoot because we thought it was gold, we thought it was like, this is just so funny and weird, and like, this is, if this turns out the way it is in our heads, it's going to be great, so, and that makes it really fun, and, uh, but I, I really love shooting the stuff in the school. Any scene in the school was fun because it felt like, with all the other kids, and they were the real high school kids who went to that school. We shot it during the summer, so they would just like, bring them in from their summer vacations, come in, and it just felt real. It's like we're, <laughs> these 20 plus, you know, actor guys are hanging out with all these, you know, teenagers, like just like, so it made us feel like this is high school. It really worked, and it, it kind of felt magic. I don't know how this, oh, this is how it was. See, right? See, I'm totally in. So you, <laughs> so you and me are pretty much friends by now, right? Yes. So you have my back and everything? What? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotta go. And then my question is, were there any scenes cut that you wish were actually in the movie? I mean, most of the time, uh, scenes are cut for a reason, and you're just used to, like, knowing, I don't know if I'd want in the back, but there's, um, I mean, there's a scene, I don't know. that one scene where we go into this, uh, the, the, where, where we put the suits, right? Yeah, the yeah. Store. The, yeah. Like, it shows how we get, uh, basically, there's a whole segment that we shot that's taken directly from the short film that we do. And then I think, and it was weird because I had shot that two years previous, we were in the same locations, but this time he was a different actor. So it was kind of weird and it felt like, oh, bizarre. And he ended up, I don't think he used most of any of that footage because I think he's just like, we don't need it, it doesn't move it along, and if you want to see it, go watch the short film. So, um, and if you haven't seen the short film, watch it, it's perfection. My perm is perfect. <laughs> Way better than the film. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Beautifully crusty. <laughs> Just hurry and roll it, you guys. <laughs>
what's he doing? Is he just, oh, he's moving a little bit. What are you doing here? You're like, oh, no, this is, whoa, what's going on? I mean, you know, I grew up on Simpsons and uh, Big Lebowski is kind of my big, you know, stepbrothers, some good stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Donnie it's, Darko. What? Uh, is that quotable? I don't know. I'll check it. Yes. Yeah, you're quoting myself. <laughs> yes, I, find, I find myself saying sweet a lot. I will say sweet. But that's why I, I said, like, that's how I talked before, so it's like, uh. thank, thank you. you. Right. Next. Um, so thank you guys for being here, but um, how bad did Uncle Rico get beat up by um, Rex? <laughs> Pretty hardcore. I mean, you have to be real. Method acting is what's it called. And uh, he took some, some pretty good hits. <laughs> yeah. And it was